what if I say this? I'm the luckiest man. Okay? The reason why I'm the luckiest man, I wasn't good in school. But none of my cousins could outwork me. I could work. So I went to trade school for a little while. And then I went down the beach. When I was young, 80 years old, I used to go down to Hawaii. They had canoe clubs down there. And at that time, they had only 16 and under before the short guys, so I was lucky I get to race with them. You know, and I was young at that time. So in the water, I was pretty good in the water. Then I learned how to steer, steamboat, and all the rabbit, kai, all the big ones. That's how I got to meet Duke, Duke Anamoko, you know, when he retired, come down the beach all the time, talk story. At that time, we used to use the kamoi, and the kamoi is a core canoe before no fiberglass boats for take tourists. You know, the Cohen was uh, 600 something pounds, I thought that. It was really neat catching waves, big waves with that core canoe, yeah. I just remember every Saturday, Sunday, my dad would take us to the beach. He knew all the beach boys, so of course they would let him uh, take out canoe lessons. It's like one of the best steersmen. Us guys would surf all day, first break. Besides the one man, I used to paddleboard. I was kayaking with my wife then. What, what they call that other kind of boat where you go on your knees, Olympic kind. Before I used to go with the skull, race with the four men. Oh, I stand up paddle. I, you know, I can just jump in, in the board and just paddle. Oh, paddle boarding. My dad used to do it. Rabbit Kikai used to do it. I mean, the legacy goes on, George Downing. Like they say, oh, so and so, they invented this. When we were young beach boys, sometimes no more nothing to do with it, you know. But wasn't a recognized like a spot, you know what I mean? Back then, I was the steersman, and my brother Darren, my twin brother, I have, was our stroker, and I pretty much won every race, anyways. That was probably 10 to 12 years old. One time we went down the beach, they always wanted to go surf, big surf down, Publix. I thought, okay, we go. So we walk on the wall, paddle out, Publix. Anyway, we catch a one wave. We're all riding the waves. The boys yell to me, hey, Dad. Because we were all, I was looking at it. They do 360s. I mean, they do 360. We ride them all the way into the wall. I went on the beach. My wife said, how come you're not watching them? I said, they know what they're doing. <laughs> When rigs came along now, you know, Aaron, that was his boy. Then the boys started driving the boat, and then Aaron took him along with him, surfboard, paddling, all of that. So I knew he was going to be a good waterman. I used to watch my dad and, and now myself, and now I watch my boy Riggs. I seen him do things out there that I can't do. And everybody always asks, what make you guys so fast? So I can say jeans because we got this knack to find the bump and connect it to the next bump. You know, I love going out on the downwind runs when it's really windy too. So it's easy for me to just get onto a bump and just sit there and not have to work as hard as in the in and out surf race. So I like it way better. I always try to teach him how to paddle, how I feel is the right way to paddle, you know. But eventually they cut their own tears when they get a little older, you know what I mean? I was probably about five years old, and I used to come down all the time and just paddle with my grandpa. He would be in seat six, and he would just look at me and tell me what to do, so I learned a lot from him. Like I show with Riggs, Riggs, you are natural like your dad, but if you train, you're gonna be way ahead. I just hope, like I share with him, you know, you gotta just keep up. Now I hear you riding motorcycles, so I don't know. <laughs> I beat my dad sometime on the paddle board when he was training me. Riggs is doing the same nowadays when we paddle, but it's gonna happen, huh? I was the youngest person so far to cross the Molokai to Oahu Channel on a stand-up board. <laughs> I think it took me seven hours, but I made it. Thinking about the future a lot, I'd love to travel the stand-up world tour more. Hopefully be stand-up world champion one day. When uh, my boys was growing up, they always shared that they're going to find somebody like my wife, where 
We all surf together, battle together. I remember that. He's saying, don't ever forget your mom. My mom got skills. Oh yeah, she was Queen of Macaw. Just missed out on the Olympics. I love my grandma and my mom. She's the one that holds us all together. Like for me, all my life I paddle. I can jump on one canoe, paddle kawaii or where I fire light. No big deal. It was a big deal, you know, because I love to do it, you know. Just another day of paddling, that guy, you know. The guys would train or run, and you know, hours training like that, and then I could race and just, you know, I'm over there, you know what I mean? Sometimes I think maybe if I really did train hard, then I'd be way behind. The kids are fast, and I'm out there just trying to enjoy myself and trying to let the young boys know that I'm getting older, but I'm, I'm still here and I need to train. Well, you know that ain't gonna happen. Most important thing that my grandpa and my dad has probably taught me is to always be humble and you know, to show your aloha to everybody. You know, that'll get you through life. I, I taught him how to just, just go out there and have fun because that's what we were all taught, just go out there and have fun first. When I'm in the boat steering, I'm saying this is mine right here, you know what I mean? But we're lucky, we're lucky.